There are lots of details in the 64-page document that you've, you've written, uh, Ewan, and it, it is available online. It's also available uh, in terms of hard copies, and we've also got uh, a, a shorter version, which really gives us the headlines, some of the, some of the facts that we've touched on today. But let's just recap on some of those. So we've talked about currency, we've talked about oil and gas and defence uh, culture. Um, the last question in the document is, does separation entail independence? Well, it's an interesting question. Uh, perhaps at a, at a psychological level it, it does, but I don't think it does in, in a meaningful level because we started off uh, just talking about currency and Scotland, unless it forms its own floating currency, either has to mirror British monetary policy or European monetary policy and is very vulnerable to shocks. So that isn't uh, a meaningful sovereignty. It's sovereignty for 10 minutes until the Bank of England put interest rates up and Scotland has to follow suit. Uh, we have talked about public spending and how Scotland actually already has probably more than its fair share of, uh, of, of, of public spending, over half the entire state. And I, I think Scotland will really struggle to maintain that even if the desire of the people is to have a, a social democracy, I, I don't think it, it becomes affordable. Um, in, in terms of, of oil, yes, they may or may not get sovereignty uh, over, over the oil, but they cannot influence the price of, independent Scotland cannot influence the price of oil, so the revenues coming in are highly, highly volatile. And you know, in, in terms of um, uh, diplomacy and culture, I, I don't think an independent Scotland is in a position to project its cultural values because I think they will be much weaker uh, uh, with fair, a, a smaller number of embassies, more poorly staffed, a smaller military. And actually, in terms of the media, if you think about it, uh, Scotland plays a disproportionately large part in, in the UK media, be it the BBC or Sky or whatever it, it might happen uh, to be. In time, those Scottish voices would disappear, just as Southern Irish voices are very seldom heard on the BBC outside, maybe Terry Wogan, who I think has been retired. Uh, so Scotland will become a smaller place. And the irony of this is those who say they are patriots and want a yes vote are diminishing Scotland. They're diminishing Scotland economically, they're diminishing Scotland culturally, and they're diminishing, diminishing Scotland socially. The real patriotic response is to vote no to this. And I, I've looked at this from a dispassionate perspective. And my consultancy is an independent consultancy. Uh, and the economic case is overwhelmingly, uh, in my view, the risks are overwhelmingly against independence. But this isn't real independence uh, that Scotland will, will get. Uh, it, it, it might be some sort of psychological feel-good factor, but there'll be a very heavy um, economic and social and cultural price to be felt.